All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying Barakathaya Hawa, Barakathaya Hawashai, Barakathaya Hawa, Barakathaya Hawashai, Barakathaya Hawa, Barakathaya Hawashai, Call Hala Yahawa, Bashem, Yahawashai, Bashem, Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS, Great Mostone, who rule well and who taught me this truth. And a shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And a shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to write this out. It'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go into Raka Kwadash. And this is going to be real quick. It's just going to be a quick little um, exhortation and a quick little rebuke for the ones of you that are getting weak. You know, that are, you know, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, being lukewarm, man. Or you're, you're hiding that talent in a napkin, you know. Now is the time to, to be on fire for the Lord, for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai requires nothing less. We have to be on fire, especially seeing that the evil days are drawing nigh. We're not going to be out there teaching much longer. We say that all the time, but you can see it clearly, all right. Our redemption is nigh, you see. So um, I want to spotlight two things and then um, two, two quick scriptures. Like I said, a quick exhortation, keep pushing. The ones of you that are out there diligently seeking the Lord, you know, you know, uh, fighting the good fight of faith. And a quick rebuke to the ones of you that are getting weak, uh, being lukewarm. You don't want to be lukewarm. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will spew you out, man. You got to be on fire. And the ones of you that took your hand from the plow, all right, I, that's not, you don't want to be that, man. We are not of them that draw back. We have to be on fire for the Lord, especially seeing that our redemption is so nigh. Victory is nigh. Victory is close, man. You can taste it. You don't want to be a, I always say, you don't want to be a coulda, woulda, shoulda nigga. You know, you're going to kick yourself in that day. And the time that we're coming into, the evil times, the, the, the hour of temptation, the, the time of Jacob's trouble, we want to have a sound mind. We don't want to be overthrown, you know, um, you know, have a guilty conscience, man. You know, that's why you give diligence to make your calling and election sure. All right. We examine ourselves daily, whether we be in the truth, you know, and ultimately we all have faith. Well, not all of us, but, you know, you know, the hopeful elect, we have faith, but we show our faith by our works. All right. You see, anyway, um, this had popped up in my feed. I, it popped up last night or the day before. I can't remember. I screenshotted it so I could have it. As you can see, it was off of Sky News and it reads, uh, Estonia warns Russian citizens. Russian residents, they could be banned from EU if they answer if they answer draft to fight in Ukraine. So you see what times it is, man. It's getting hot and heavy, man. Hot and heavy. All right. A lot of things are happening. All right. And another, um, I wanted to show this also. This was off of the BBC. This was from today. Um, it says, um, Salakia. It says a uh, pound hits record low against U.S. dollar. BBC News. All right. So it says the pound has fallen to a record low against the U.S. dollar as markets react to the U.K.'s biggest tax cuts in 50 years. In early Asia trade, sterling fell close to 1.3 cents um, before regaining some ground to stand at about one one dollar and seven cents. On Monday morning UK time while worries about the UK economy have hit the pound its value has also been under pressure due to due to the strength of the dollar which we know the dollar is being um, um, um it's not that's false man the, the dollar's weak as hell you know but but through quantitative easing through uh, Esau Eden's fuckery you know he's he's um superficially inflating the, the dollar man all right all these economies are circling the drain because it's, it's it's ultimately by design by the wicked elite the bankers you know the federal reserve the imf they're collapsing this current fiscal fiat system this current way of buying and selling they're doing away with it all right and they're going to usher in like we keep saying a new world order a new a new a new system of buying and selling and we know it's going to be digital okay so that they can have complete control all right you don't want to obey they just lock your chip off like Aaron Russo said the MOTB is, is drawing nigh the hour of temptation is drawing nigh 
that RFID microchip <laughs> being made mandatory is drawing nigh. And, uh, you know, once once that's made mandatory, like Elder Apostle Tahar always says, all bets are off. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is truly going to uh, speed things up. Okay? That third's woe, it's brewing. You see, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is mustering the host of the battle. You see, this place is being visited by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. He's plaguing this place with storms, tempests, uh, pestilence. The people are in an uproar. Beautiful times, man. The prophecies are screaming. So like I said, this is a quick exhortation for the ones of you that are doing what you need to be doing and a quick rebuke. And a rebuke is a, is a sharp correction, man. All right? For the ones of you playing games, half-assing. Hey, let me, let me start with this one. Galatians 6 and 7. All right? Be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked. You can't run game on the Lord, man. <laughs> you deceiving yourself. All right? All right? Matter of fact, I'm going to start up at 4. Galatians 6 and 4. But let every man prove his own work. Because talk is cheap, man. The proof is in the pudding. You show your faith by your works. Like James said, I show you my... Yea, a man may say he have faith, but I show you my faith by my works. That's what Yahweh Shai said. They wanted to gain, say Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. They were trying to hem him up in his speech. They were kind of they were trying to slander him. But what they couldn't deny the works. Okay? He said, believe me for my work's sake. And if you love Yahweh, but you Yahweh Shai, all right, you claim you love the Lord, you would show it through your actions. Like he told Peter three times, feed his sheep, all right? You have this truth, you have the eyes to see, the ears to hear, pay it forward. Comfort one another with, with Yahweh, but you Yahweh Shai's words, okay? You see? Galatians 6 and 4, but let every man, because the flock of the Lord's pasture are men. I'm chiefly concerned with the men. All right, in the day of power, our people will be willing. The women going to come, man, when power, when we get that power. Okay, they going to be flocking. When all hell break loose, the women going to come. Right now, we're concerned with you able-bodied men. You saw Elder Apostle Rhymelob was losing it in the car, man. You know, what the hell is wrong with you niggas, man? I know what it is. You don't really believe because if you, if you believed, your actions would show it. Okay, stop hiding that talent. Stop, stop being a napkin nigga. Or stop being lukewarm. The Lord is going to spew you out when you least expect it, all right? And you're going to kick yourself because we're so close. Our redemption is nigh. Victory is nigh. You can taste it, you know? Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. Knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. You got to know who you're dealing with, man. Allah Shadja, that terrible demon-like power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, they're austere men. They're not to be fucked with, man. You don't tempt the Lord, all right? You don't put the Lord off day by day. You know, seeing that it was in your mind to go astray, you seek the Lord ten times more. You be on fire to the best of your ability. All right? If you weaken the spirit, you fast, you pray, you read, you know, you beg the Lord to strengthen you, man. All right? You don't just tap the fuck out, man. You know, the Lord said, uh, put off that weak nature, that effeminate, woe is me spirit. Get the fuck out of it, man. Gird up thy loins like a man. He will require it of you. The Lord is looking for soldiers, fighters, man. You know, fight the good fight of faith. But let every man prove his own work. And then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. Because no man can save you, man. All right? We, we on this straight gate to the kingdom, this path to the kingdom. And it's a narrow path, as it says in, uh, in the Apocrypha. Or I believe it's in Ezra. I can't remember exactly where it's at. But it says uh, on one side there's fire, one side there's water. But it's a narrow path, and only one man can tread it at a time, all right? So you got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, and you don't want to have a guilty conscience in the time to come. You want to be of sound mind, okay? You see? So it says, but let every man prove his own work, and then shall, shall he have rejoicing in himself alone, and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burden. You got to pick up that cross, the same cross Yahweh Shai had to carry. You got to pick up your cross and carry, and carry it, man. Whatever whatever you're going through, it is what it is, man. Yahweh Shai is not going to put more on you than you can bear. He's always going to make a way able for you to escape. But you got to you you know, you do your part, man. For every man shall bear his own burden. It says, let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in, in all good things. All right? It says, Be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, 
that shall he also reap. And Adawan and Ratazah, we be the, of the hopeful elect, and we're trying to sow these righteous acts. We're storing up these treasures in heaven where neither a rust nor a moth does corrupt. Okay? Thief can't break it and steal it. You know? You know? Our works do follow us, man. Yahweh Shai is not unrighteous to forget our labor of love. All right? But if you take your hand from the plow, guess what? You're not fit for the kingdom. No man looking back is fit for the kingdom, man. You see? You see? A lot of you haven't even picked up the plow yet. You know, and you're able body, you 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 you're of sound mind, you know, there's no excuses. You see? Now is the time to fight, man. You know, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. And when whatever you do, when you're doing something for your how about you shy, you do it with your whole heart, all your strength, man. You know, all right? Your how about shy requires perfection. You know, we none of us are perfect, but we have to strive for for for, for we have to strive for perfection, all right? And what also, how do you get perfected? By by uh, repetition, as Elder Apostle Gabor always says, repetition is the father of skill. Just do what the Lord said, man. Seek the Lord, be on fire, you know, put on as the elect, man, daily. Be not deceived, Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall reap shall of the flesh reap corruption and a lot of you are sowing carnal things you're sowing to the flesh your, your main concern as this world is your job is whatever your woman i don't whatever the hell carnal things all right you see for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting and that's what we're looking man we're looking to be saved we're looking to be to have that the wah around us in the times to come, that hedge of protection. We're looking to be found in the good graces of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. In the time of judgment, we're looking for mercy. You see? You see? And ultimately, we're looking to be changed, man. You know? You see? It says, and let us not be weary in well doing. You know, a lot of you, a lot of you have lost patience. What's that? I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna get that next. A lot of you got tired of suffering, catching hell. You got tired of waiting on the Lord. The Lord said, Woe to you, man. And let us not be weary in well doing. What's the what's the the um charity cult charity covers a multitude of sin. The greatest charity that you can do is, is give somebody this truth. Give this feed somebody with this everlasting bread. This truth shall set you free. These words are life, man. Okay? This is the comforter. You see? Pay it forward. And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. He that endureth to the end, the same shall be saved. You got to endure to the end. You got to finish this race. Okay? You see? And let us not be... Let me read that from the top again. Galatians 6 and 4. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burden... Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. Be not deceived, Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season... We shall reap if we faint not. As we have therefore opportunity, you got liberty, you got grace, you got all the time in the world. Yahweh Shai took them physical chains off of you. Now the chains are spiritual. Now you now the number one person you battling is this flesh. It's a constant war, the spirit against the flesh, man. The spirit wants to do righteousness, but the flesh wanna take the easy way out. Alright? The flesh wanna give in to lust. The flesh is carnal. All right, and a carnal, the carnal man is enmity with the Lord. A carnal mind is enmity with the Lord. Okay, we gotta strive to stay in the spirit. Okay, as we have therefore opportunity, let us let us do good unto all men, and the ultimate good works is is given given someone this truth. All right, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. 
the hopeful elect, man. We are prisoners of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. We are prisoners of hope. Feed the Lord's sheep. Feed his flock. Okay? Comfort one another with these words. Okay? Ecclesiasticus, um, straight to the point. Ecclesiasticus 2 and 14. Woe, woe means destruction. Woe unto you that have lost patience. Elder Apostle Gabor always goes into patience, goes into suffering, enduring. Okay? Woe unto you that have lost patience. You got tired of waiting on the Lord. You got tired of catching hell. All right? The Lord said, woe to you. And what will you do when the Lord shall visit you? And the Lord is visiting the world daily. Can't you see it? These prophecies are screaming. Okay? Hey, man, we want to be found on the good side of the Lord when he returns. Kiss the son, lest he be angry. Zephaniah 1 and 12. And it shall come to pass at that time, we're in this time, man, that I will search Jerusalem. And remember, we're a people before a place, all right? And we're scattered amongst the four corners of the earth. And it, and it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles. That light is coming. A lot of you don't want to come to the light yet. That light is your Hawashai. This truth is that light. A lot of you don't want to come to the light because your sins are wicked. All right? You're going to be reproved. We all went off, man. We all fell short of the short of the grace, man. We all went off. We're all worthy of death, whether it's for things we've done in this life or our previous lives. That's why we give diligence, you know? That way, in that time to come, we'll be found blameless, Lord's will. No, with no guile in our mouth, because we've we've been pushing this truth in sincerity and truth, you know, not for filthy lucre's sake, not for vain glory, not for likes, not for views, but out of the sincerity of your heart, man. Because you truly believe. If you truly believe, your works would show it, man. A lot of you are hypocrites, phonies, fakes, actors, but you can't trick the Lord. The eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. The eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. You see, the Lord is watching everything. The angels are giving account. You see? So don't be playing with the Lord. Don't be tempting the Lord. Okay? As in the islands, we like to say, uh, don't take the Lord for a poppy show. He's not a clown, man. You're the clown. You're deceiving yourself. You see? The deceived and the deceiver are his. Zephaniah... <laughs> Salakia 1 and 12, and it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish, judge, all right? He's going to plague you like you ain't never been plagued before. You're going to, all manner of hell is going to befall you and everything you love, least ye repent. Especially the ones of you that know this truth and are hiding it, you know? You napkin niggards and you men that took your hand from the plow, playing games with the Lord. And it shall come to pass at that time I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their lees. That say in their heart, the Lord Yahweh will not do good, neither will he do evil. You're, you're sadly mistaken. You don't know the Lord if you got that type of mind, mind frame. Okay. Straight out of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach's mouth. John 9 and 4. John 9 and 4. I must, I must, I must work the works of him that sent me. While it is day, all right? While we have liberty, while we have grace, while we have time, you know? You see? I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. That's on all levels, man. It's the grinding is about to be low. Suddenly shall the, the sown storehouses appear empty. All hell is going to break loose. Esau is going to demonize the men of the Lord. Amos 8 and 11, the famine of the word, you see? evil times on the horizon so now is the time to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling okay john 9 and 4 i must work the works of him that sent me while it is day the night cometh when no man can work all right evil times are on the horizon we're not going to be out there teaching much longer okay jeremiah 48 and 10 it said cursed be he that doeth the work of the lord Yahweh deceitfully a lot of you have ulterior motives, man. You're not doing this thing out of sincerity and truth. But guess what? You're deceiving yourself. You're deceiving. You ain't deceiving nobody but yourself. Okay? You're heaping coals upon your head. Jeremiah 48 and 10. It says, Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord Yahweh deceitfully. And cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. You know this truth? 
Warn the people, man. Get the blood off your hands. Warn the people. Okay? You see? I'm going to close out here. And like I said, there's so many so many things. Uh, uh, more Two rappers were, were killed again. Uh, some female out of Memphis and some other. I don't even know these niggas, man. You know? But the Lord judgment is pouring out in the earth, man. You see, right here in Florida, we, we waiting to see what the effects of this hurricane, I think it's Ian, is about to be. You see, they, uh, the governor, the governor De Santos issued a, um, already an emergency. You see, the Lord ain't playing no more, man. The Lord scourges a sense for amendment. The Lord is jacking this world up to get you to, to, to repent. But only the elect, only the remnant is going to return. Two thirds of you. Interesting, Habakkuk 2 and 3. Two-thirds of you, you two-thirds, you're going to die in your sins because you refuse to repent. In the times to come, you're going to be plagued in the mind. Give me any plague but the plague of the mind. The Lord is going to, them demons are going to overtake you. Why? Because you've been bullshitting. You see? You've been playing with the Lord and the Lord is not mocked. Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. We're in this time. We're in the times that the apostles, all the prophets of old looked for. Will ye at this time restore the kingdom to Jerusalem, to Israel? Yes, the Lord is about to do it. Our enemies are falling, crumbling, man. You see the, the damn, the, the pound is crumbling. The dollar is crumbling. All these nations, they're circling the drain, man. Esau's through. Like uh, the... The elder brother your call says, this this red Hebrew Edomite, this devil is on the ropes, man. His knees are buckling. Knock this nigga out. He's through. But you know what? Two thirds of you are through also. Because you know the Lord ain't with you. So that's why the Lord said, just go back in the fucking world. Stop playing games, man. You're either hot or cold. You're either on fire for the Lord or you, you, you're cold. You're not even dealing with the Lord at all. But because you, you want to straddle that goddamn fence, you want to be a fence rider, you want to have one foot in, one foot out, you think you can trick the Lord. You can't serve two masters, man. Okay? You can't serve Yahweh and Mammon. You will, you're going to love one and hate the other. Okay? And because you're playing games, you're being lukewarm, the Lord is going to spew you out. That's, a, that's an, abrupt, um, <laughs> uh, 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 an abrupt expulsion. Okay? You don't want that, man. You see? So work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Seeing that it was in your mind to go astray, now being returned, seek Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai ten times more. Okay? Habakkuk 2 and 3. Matter of fact, I started one. Habakkuk 2 and 1. I will stand upon my watch. We are the watchmen. We are the Lord's watchmen. We're on that tower, man. We're watching. We're watching the prophecies. We're watching the news. We're watching for the enemy. The enemy's about to come in as a flood. And we're warning our people. We're blowing that trumpet. Okay? The evil days are drawing nigh. Each day that passes is another day closer to the kingdom. But guess what? Through great tribulation, we shall enter into the kingdom. We're going to have to go through that storm first. The storm is on the horizon. The storm is brewing. I will stand up upon my watch and set, and set me upon the tower. And will watch to see what he will say unto me, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And the Lord Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables. These scriptures, these scrolls, and it's plain. The prophecies are plain. It's obvious. It's evident. Starting from my elder apostles on down, they've thoroughly broken these, these prophecies down to you. Frontwards, backwards, you know, went into all type of root words, you know. We know what we believe. We have an unction from the Holy One and we know all things, all right? We know what time it is, you know? It's high time to wake up out of sleep, okay? It says, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. Run, man. It's supposed to be on fire. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. These prophecies aren't even speaking. They're screaming at you, Okay? It says, though it tarry, wait for it. But a lot of you lost patience. The Lord said, woe to you. Though it tarry, wait for it. But it will surely come. It will not tarry. Okay? So anyway, I'm going to close out here, man. You know, keep pushing, man. The ones of you that are, you know, doing what you're supposed to be doing, hey, keep pushing, man. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. 
all right? And the ones of you that are playing games, hey, stop playing games, man. Don't tempt the Lord. Don't play with the Lord. He ain't the one. Trust me, he ain't the one, all right? We're close. Our redemption is nigh. You don't want to be a coulda, woulda, shoulda nigga. All right, oh, I should have got out. I should have went out there. You're going to kick yourself, man. All right, I'm out of here. Shalom. Wa abad babal. Kwam yasharallah.